Um, I have to go. Mum dead are waiting in the car. So it's us. I have to go. Oh, wicked! The reason Dad bought that old dunger is because he got a motorbike thrown in as part of the deal. Oh, Murray, I'm gonna have your guts for garden! Before you go off it in this time, maybe just think about it a little more. So, uh, we're good. We good. You only live once, you know, I've got to do the things you want to do. And Dad works hard, he deserves to have a bit of fun. Messing with an old bike is fun. Well, as if you're a boy, apparently. <laughs> Put the jug on, eh? I'll do it. Happy in your work? Uh, happy as a pig in muck. That would be fantastic. Y yeah, yeah, no, we will definitely be there then. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> bye. It's all go. 4.15. Meet you there. Actually, I want to drop in and see Sarah and the baby first, so I'll grab you. Can we play soccer? If the weather clears up, we can have a bit of a kick about outside before we go. May as well make the most of it now. There'll be very little kicking things about after the implantation. Are you scared or excited or bugs? It's weird. I have no expectations. I might get pregnant this afternoon, or it might all turn to custard. Or we might get pregnant this afternoon. Yeah. And then it'll be you, and me, and our baby. Won't that be amazing? It was raining, and the light's no good out there on the deck. What could I do? Not turn my house into a workshop? It was either here or the bedroom. Well, what's wrong with the shed? Oh, it's all full of rubbish. Meanwhile, here it's clean and well lit. It's perfect for motorcycle mechanics. It was perfect for cooking and eating. And it will be again soon. Don't panic. Let this wipe off. Terrific. That's really helping. It, it'll come off. You do remember we have someone who pays to live here, don't you? It's bad enough that we have to put yeah, up okay, with this, but he's sure... OK, OK. Don't move. Just drop the idle adjustment screw. Remain calm. There's no need to assume crash positions. How long does it take to rebuild a motorcycle engine? That is one of the great questions, Belle. Like, how long's a piece of string? If a man says something in a forest and there's no woman there to hear him, is he still wrong? Sorry, buddy, not inside. I want to go to Harry's. I'll take you in about an hour. Now! I can't now. I have some things to do. Why don't you turn the TV on? I want to play soccer. Well, I'm sure Harry will have a game with you once it stops raining. I want to go to Harry's now! And I said you couldn't. How about some food? I'm not hungry. How can you not be hungry? I'm just not! I promised Scotty that I'd do some baking. How about you and I, we make him a, a chocolatey thing, yeah? Okay, so what's wrong? I want to go to Harry's. I want to collect Jasmine from the library. Okay. It's your turn to cook tonight, remember? As if I'd forget. Have you taken anything out of the freezer? I will, very soon. Any second, in fact. Mince. Exactly what I had in mind. See you soon. Good as gold. See you, hun. What's for dinner? Why are you cooking? Hilarious, Dad. You should do stand-up. In a field somewhere. Ah, there. Yeah. Number eight socket. I've been looking for that. So, are we having mints or what? Right after I've used this to open and clean my cowie. I thought Mum said not to make a mess. Which is why I am laying down the newspaper first. So, this bike. Do I get to ride it? Well, she's an old school cafe racer, mate. She's a hardcore. 
Like a chopper? <laughs> Choppers are for fat, middle-aged men who can't handle a real bike. I thought you said you'd love a chopper. Well, I may have once alluded to owning a chopper as a mode of transport. Meanwhile, this bike will be my ticket to Zen. You sound like Uncle Tony when he's been smoking weed. Remember, if he ever gives you any pot... Yeah, I know, I know. Sell it for market value. Evan. OK, joking, just say no. Correct. Now, this is a cafe racer. Looks kind of cool. Imagine being crouched over this, speeding around the corners, scraping the foot pegs, making the hog owners look like they were standing still. So what's that thing? That, my son, is where air and petrol mix so controlled explosions may occur in the engine, generating power to the back wheel. Allow me to demonstrate. Numbers crunched. Thank you. My pleasure. Come on, time to log off. Yeah, OK, I'm too tired to work anymore anyway. Let me take care for a drink, a glass of wine and maybe some nice food. I think I'll just head home. Not even for one drink? Winston, I know that we share a big chunk of our childhood and I'm forever grateful for your help with Mum and all your work here. But I don't want us to be friends. I want us to be friendly colleagues. You still think I tried to poison Evan? The truth is that what we have between us is, is not healthy. You should have your own life, and so should I. We know each other better than anyone, Brooke. I... I don't want to lose you. It's better for both of us to live separate lives. Spike doesn't look very comfortable. Doesn't have much of a seat. It's not meant to. But it will be stripped back to the basics. It'll be wheels, engine, handlebars. It'll be fast, light, and handle like a rocket on rails. Why do they call it a cafe racer? Well, the idea was to uh, race your mates to a cafe in the nearest town or wherever. The lightest, best handling bike got there first. Mm. This is in your wild youth? Yeah, more like my dad's wild youth, but... Yeah, I used to do the white tax in my old stripped-down Quaker 9. Good bike. Got brutal. It was a heavy Jap four-cylinder four-stroke, but it had discs and a monster donk, so you could totally waste the Brits and the septics. I didn't understand any of that. <laughs> you will, my son. Oh, for... Uh-oh. Evan and I are bonding over Zen and the art of motorcycle mechanics. That, that's a good thing, right? Well, what are the chances you've started on dinner? Just about to get onto that. I was just saying to Evan, in fact. Must cook dinner. Hopeless. Put this on to defrost for 10 minutes, Jess. Okay. Work all day. I don't ask for much help. But what do I get? I just got you this jacket. Yeah, like a year ago? Exactly. It's only a year old. It's old. Since when were you the king of fashion? Putting someone down was bullying. I wasn't putting you down. I was mocking you. That's bullying, too. At school, they'd send you to the counsellor. Hey. Hey. Do you want something to eat? Yeah. Okay. I've been trying to get food down him all day. How is he coping? Oh, I don't know. I think we're doing well, but he's gone weird all of a sudden. How so? Sullen, grumpy. All he wanted to do today was come around here and see Harry. I know there are days where he still thinks about his mother, but this seems different somehow. Well, kids handle grief in different ways. I know. Maybe he thinks I'm trying to replace his mother. I'm not. Wouldn't even try. He'll get over that in time. Yeah, it took Harry ages to realise I wasn't a wicked stepmother, but he did. He still has his days, though. I better get going. Scotty and I have an appointment at the IVF clinic, implantation day. Consider my fingers crossed. And mine. Thank you. I'll see you later, Kitu. Scotty will be by later to put you up tonight. Oi! Plates! 
slave driver. Does that feel weird? Yeah, yeah, it does a little bit. <laughs> but it's pretty amazing. Hey, yeah. Hey, you ready? Good luck, guys. Thank you. See you. <laughs> Precious little thing. Oh, oh bye, Auntie. Bye. <laughs> How are those the results? Mm, they just came through. Should I open them now or after the appointment? Are you kidding? No. We're not a match. Kitu isn't mine. Oh, that's what you thought. Yeah. We can still forge ahead with the adoption, can't we? Yeah. Where should I put your jacket? Keep it. It's yours. No, it isn't. I'm giving it to you. It is winter, right? That's a very good jacket. Thank you. No problem. You better put it in your bag so you don't forget it. Isn't Rachel your mum? No, my mum died. She's not Phoenix's mum either. Is she a good other mum? Yeah, but sometimes she makes me do chores and dumb stuff like that. Doesn't she love you? I don't know. I guess she has to, because she loves my dad and because dad loves me. We did a test to see if Scotty's my dad. Yeah. I hope he is. I can't find it. it must be in there somewhere. It's not. What was there this morning? No. Murray, you've seen the masher? I can put my hands right on it for you. Gross. Oh, it's just a bit of oil to wash off. Well, you can wash it off then. Are there any more kitchen implements in that mess? Very few. Uh, very, very few. But how do we adjust the timing? See, boy wants to learn. Uh, we'll get on to that in a tick, mate. Look up that chapter while I'm helping your mum. Isn't it nice seeing your boys living in peace and harmony? Trust me, that is the only thing stopping me from ramming that where the sun don't shine. In the cargo? Found it? Uh-huh. Is your engine a TRV or HX model? TRV. Are you going to clear that mess off the table before we eat? As soon as I'm done helping you here, my sweet. Oh, you're still working. Yes. You look really tired. I'm OK. Have you had anything to eat? I'll get something from the machine later. I'm doing an all-nighter. I'm going to cross-reference every bit of data. If there's anything to find, I'll find it. You do too much. She's just had a nasty accident, and I want to help her. You help her every day. You're here before anyone else, and you stay after everyone else is gone. I want to be useful. Broken arm aside, she's doing such great work, and she needs backup. Oh, she's lucky to have you. And I'm going to make sure she knows it. I am fine, really. It turns out having fertilized eggs put back in is a lot easier than having them taken out. But you're still sore, I can tell. Rest. Yes, boss. And I'll go and pick up Kitu. When are we going to tell him? Uh, tonight, I guess. Or maybe tomorrow, when he's in a better mood. After you left this afternoon, he got all sad. How so? Oh, you couldn't wait to be shot of me today. He wouldn't talk, he wouldn't eat. I suppose we have to be firm. I can't be too hard on him. I just keep thinking about his mum. I guess we have to think what she would want. <sighs> well, she wanted you to believe you were his father. You still want to go ahead with the adoption, right? It is a really big thing. Meaning you don't? 
It would be nice for our baby to have a brother. That's what I thought. Thanks, love. It was nice. It was a bit weird. Sorry, Mum, it did taste kind of funny. You mashed our potato with this? Well, if it didn't come off when I was washing it, it's hardly going to come off when I'm mashing potatoes. Oh, honestly, a whole dinner ruined. Well, a bit of engine oil won't kill us. Engine oil? Yuck! Is an old engine oil toxic? I've got a horrible taste in my mouth. Yeah, a bunch of hypochondriacs, you lot. Well, you're acting like I poisoned you all. Mm. Speaking of which, where's Winston tonight? Working late again. Oh, lucky him. Still, wasting not one more. I've got to do some studies. Scotty's asked me to train for theatre nursing. Oh, nice one. No, scary. Oh, you'll be right. Brain box like you. I'm doing theatre training for better shifts so I can spend more time with my family. Ironic, wouldn't you say? Can you bring me a cup of tea when you finish cleaning up my kitchen? Yeah. And if I see one more grease stain, that heap of junk goes into the recycling. Don't worry. We'll tidy up here. You will. I'm not the one she's going to beat up. Oh! What is this? Oh, it's part of the overhead cam assembly. It goes into I the... I don't care what it is. Well, then why ask? Hey. Hey. Hi, guys. They're in the zone. Hey, get to it. It's time to go. You could have finished the game. Yeah, finish the game. Who's is this jacket? Rachel wore it for him. And your other jacket? Kitty didn't have one, so I asked Rachel if I could give him mine. She said yes, so then I had to get this one. Oh. Out of generosity, you gave your jacket away. Yeah. Which then meant you could get the new jacket you were hassling me about this morning. I guess. Turn off the game. I don't appreciate you going behind my back like that, Harry. The way you got this jacket was dishonest. Oh, thank you. And this? Goes to Kitu. What? Hey, why don't you end the camera? Harry, playing tricks like that is wrong. Only meant for Kitu to have something nice. He's got nothing. I want you to go to your room and think about conning Rachel into getting you that jacket. You will find your motives are not pure. Go on. So seeing as I might be a parent soon, what happens next? Does he stay angry? Does he apologize? If I confront him about his lie head on, he'll dig in. If I admit that it was a trick that I might have played when I was a kid, it uh, lets him deal with it in the context of growing up. Yeah, you can laugh it off, but it's still a lesson. You have to laugh off the small stuff or it turns into big stuff and then you're in the war zone. It's nice that he included Kitu. At least he could have just said a dog ran off with his jacket. <laughs> oh, he likes Kitu. He can teach him things. <laughs> well, yeah, tricks aside, I'm glad Harry's his mate. This is so you don't die of scurvy. Oh, come on, stand up and do some stretches. You gotta shake off that tiredness. Now gather in the energy from the universe. And shake it out. And breathe it in. Oh, and breathe it out. Thanks. I am hungry. You're very naughty. Stuck in here all day and night not eating. On your way home? Yeah, I'm done for the day, and you should be too. I'll just do another couple of hours. I hope she knows how much you care for her. We all look after each other, yes? Here's you bring me dinner and... What's this? Mm, it's a graph with that line following that line, up and down. Which may we have found the correlation. Mm. They are connected. Yay! I have no idea what that means, but yay. It's not a Nobel, but... It's definitely interesting, if this checks out. Good for you, Winston. Wait till I show Brock. Scalpel. Suction. Intake adjustment screw. Sorry? Intake adjustment screw. Cam timing chain. What? Cam timing chain, quickly. No, but wait. Uh, a lubricant? So, no, sorry, this isn't right. Potato masher. I'm really sorry, but I left it in the wash. Borrow mine, mate. Just give it a wipe. Thanks. 
Gary, you can't be in here. Hey, Wendy. Look. Wendy? 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 I just need to move the couch. One of the head bolts rolled under it. Oh. What? Well, I could do it later. The expression a justifiable homicide comes to mind. I'll make it later. Murray, I want every nut, bolt and engine part out of my house. Well, if I had a place to put everything... Then... Now! What did you do? We play soccer and computer games. He doesn't have a mother either. Yeah, but he's got Rachel. And she takes really good care of him, and he's got his dad. You hungry? Yep. Key two, what's this? Harry gave it to me. Was he allowed to? His dad said he wasn't, but. Uh, I think there's been a bit of a mistake. I didn't make a mistake. Well, maybe it was Harry's mistake. He said I was allowed. Well, you just said he wasn't. No, I didn't. Look, don't shout. But you don't believe me. I want to believe you, but this is a brand new jacket and it doesn't really seem like Harry should have given it to you. You're just saying that because you don't want me to have it. Because you don't want me. Keisha, that's not true. Yes, it is. I heard you. You want your own baby, not me. Of course I want my own baby, but that has nothing to do with... You don't even like me! Kitty, keep your voice down. No, but if Scotty is my dad, you have to love me. Well, Scotty's not your dad, so... Tracy! Kitty, I didn't... Kevin has his hands full next on Doctors, with not one, but two women desperate for his attention.